Okay, so in this video, we're going to use the gradient to find the directional derivative of this function at 3 comma 5 in the direction of, of, of this point. Okay, so solution. So just really quick, if you recall from before, the directional derivative in the direction of a unit vector, we had written that as the partial with respect to x cosine theta plus the partial with respect to y sine theta. And the thing is, you can think of this as, I'm going to use shorthand, I'm going to drop the x and the y, as this vector dotted with this vector. Right, it's a dot product. So this is a unit vector. Right, this is a unit vector, and this guy here is the gradient. So in this problem, we're taking our old way of finding the directional derivative, and we're going to do it a different way. Instead, we're going to find the gradient and then just dot, take the dot product of that with, with the unit vector. So I have to find the gradient and then a unit vector. So that's, that's the idea. OK, so let's start uh, by finding uh, a unit vector. OK, so we have two points here. So we need to find a unit vector in the direction of those points. We have to create a vector. So if we look at the vector PQ, um, you just subtract the components. So 6 minus 3, 6 minus 5. And that gives you a vector connecting these two points, right? So we have a vector going, starting at P and going in the direction of Q. So this is 3, comma 1. Now we have to turn this into a unit vector, okay? So if we take the magnitude of PQ, it's the square root, and it's 3 squared plus 1 squared, so we're going a little bit fast, it's a long problem. 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, so now we have a unit vector. And we have a unit vector, I'm going to write it up here. So our unit vector is going to be u, okay? And it's going to be 3 over the square root of 10, 1 over the square root of 10. Now why is that? It's because to turn this into a unit vector, you divide by its magnitude. It's called normalizing. So we're normalizing the vector. We're making it a unit vector. Pretty hardcore stuff. Okay, so that's our unit vector. So now we just have to find the gradient at 3, 5 and take the dot product. So I'm going to erase this. So to find the gradient, well, the gradient of f, that's the vector where uh, the partial derivatives are the components. So the partial with respect to x and the partial with respect to y. The partial with respect to x, the y is constant, so we simply get 6x. And then here, the partial with respect to y, uh, the x is constant, so we simply get negative 2y. Right, when you take the partial with respect to x, um, these derivatives are 0. Right? And so you just get 2 times 3, so 6x. You take the partial with respect to y, uh, these derivatives are 0, so you just get negative 2y. All right, now we want the gradient at 3, comma 5, right? So let's see, so it's, it's 6 times 3, negative 2 times 5. So that's 18, negative 10. Okay, 6 times 3 is 18, two times, uh, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So now we can work out the formula. I'm going to erase this so you can see it big. So the gradient, sorry, the directional derivative of u, okay, at 3, 5. Okay, what's this going to be? And u is this vector here. So it's the gradient, so it's this guy. We're doing it a different way. We're taking the gradient and taking the dot product with our unit vector u and u. Okay. okay. Now we're going to plug everything in. So this is going to be this guy here, so 18, negative 10. That's, that's this guy, right? 18, negative 10. That's our gradient vector dotted with u. So that's this one here, 3 squared of 10, uh, 1 squared of 10. And now we take the dot product, and we should have uh, the directional derivative. So let's see, so 18 times 3, uh-oh, it's going to be 54, right? 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 8 is 24, you add them, you get 54. That's 54, 54 over the square root of 10, plus, right, we're multiplying this times this and adding, and then this times this, so a negative 10 over the square root of 10. So we end up with 44, 44 over the square root of 10. And so that's the directional derivative. Hope that made sense.